They take care of our machines, irons, phones, and toasters, MP3s and TV screens, even roller coasters. Without them, clocks stop ticking. Without them, lights go out. But if you need a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you need a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you need a fixie, please don't let their secret out. Traffic light. Red. Yellow. Green. All right, let's go. Tub Thomas, why did we stop? There's a crosswalk. When there are lines like that, you have to let pedestrians cross. Go on. <laughs> Thanks. Have a good trip. Stop now. There's no crosswalk. But that's a crossing gate, Fire. You have to let the train pass. Wow, that is cool. Hi there, Nolik. Come on down. Check out this traffic light. It's new. Is that a real traffic light? Wonderful, isn't it? Yeah. It looks awesome. Nolik, where are you going? Stop. <gasps> <gasps> Did you lose your mind? What were you doing, huh? I... I wanted to see what a cool traffic light it is. What? And my dad just... just got this for me today. Now look at it. Uh, you were supposed to let me cross. You ran into the street when the light was red. A traffic light is a street lamp that sends multicolored signals to vehicles and pedestrians so they don't get in each other's way when they're on the road. When the light is red, it means stop. You must stay where you are. A yellow light tells drivers, caution, prepare to stop. You are only allowed to start crossing the street after the traffic light changes to the color green. And even then, it's important to remember, look both ways before crossing. Got it? You can only cross on green, Nolik. Even really little kids know that. But the light was green. No, it was red. No, green. It, it was, was red. red. It was green, I swear. Maybe you're colorblind or something. Yeah, possibly. Uh, what does it mean if you're colorblind? It means you can't tell colors apart. So you don't know which one's red and which one's green. Uh, that's what I am. Right. <laughs> you never mixed up colors before this. Okay. What color is that nightstand over there? Uh, it's red. And the plane up there? Oh, that's green. How about me, huh? What color am I? Green is blue is brown is gray. With both dots. I'm what? It's true. He's colorblind. Poor kid. Told ya. Wasn't my fault. All right. We'll sort it out at home. And what are we gonna do with the traffic light? We can fix it. And we'll fix your car, too. All right. What color's the car? Purple? If you say so. We got work to do. So take a seat before you mix something else up. The road can be a dangerous place. There are so many cars and pedestrians on it, and all of them are in a rush to get where they're going. But be careful. Even if a driver notices a pedestrian on the road and brakes, it can still take quite some distance before the car comes to a complete stop. To avoid disaster, have respect for one another. If you need to cross the street, go to the nearest traffic light, crosswalk, or sign with a pedestrian on it. While you're still on the sidewalk, look to your left and then to your right and see how far away any cars, motorcycles, or bicycles are. If they're close, then just stay where you are. If the driver is responsible and polite, he will stop for you if he sees you from a distance. If you want to make yourself more visible when it's dark, attach safety reflectors to your clothes and then it will be safe for everyone on the road. Thomas, test it out. Turning the lights on. So, is it 
right? Yeah. Take your places. All right, let's cross. Ready, set, go! The game is up. You aren't colorblind, Nolik. You know what you are? You're a fainer. Me? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. I got a little of it right in here. And once in a while, it goes up here. Uh, what's a fainer, anyway? <laughs> <laughs> the submarine. And the submarine disappeared into the ocean deep, leaving the vicious sharks high and dry. Ugh, that cartoon was super class. Splendid. Uh, I wish we had a submarine too. What do you say we make one? But we don't know anything about building a submarine. What makes you say that? <laughs> the most important thing for a submarine is to be airtight so that it's impossible for water to leak in from outside. And inside, there needs to be a reserve of air for breathing. For a submarine to go underwater, it uses special containers. When the containers are filled with water, the submarine becomes heavy and starts submerging. When it's time to take the submarine back up to the surface, the water in the containers is switched back for air and the light submarine climbs. And what are we going to make it out of? Out of, uh, broken toys. And where are we going to sail her? In the aquarium. Silly. Nolik's little and he's not scared of this. Yeah! Well, all right. Cast off the lines! The who? Unhook the rope, it means. Ah! You should have just said that. Are you ready? Time to take her down. Hooray! We're sailing! It's just beautiful in here. There they are, the fish is short. Time to scare them. Turning right. Go away for that one. You can't escape <gasps> from us. Please stop it. Come on, come on, come stop on. Stop torturing the fish, it's terrible. <laughs> what? Oh, 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 no. I don't know. There's algae wrapped around the propeller. I want my mom to see Just be calm. There's no need to panic. Let's try taking her up. It's not working. Of course. No wonder I was scared. And so what do we do now? How about we open the hatch door? No, we can't. The water would pour into here, and then we would all drown. Well, in that case, I don't know. I need to come up with a plan. Yeah. <sighs> the world's first practical submarine was built almost 400 years ago in England. It was made out of wood and couldn't dive very deep at all. Inside the vessel, rowers sat with oars, so it couldn't move very quickly either. About 200 years later, the oars were replaced with a propeller. But the propeller on that submarine could only be turned by hand, making it a slow submarine as well. Any good swimmer could easily outrace it. It was only with the appearance of electric motors that submarines started submerging to great depths and moving through the water at very high speed. Today's modern military submarines use nuclear reactors for power. These submarines can stay underwater for months without resurfacing. Fire, can you come up with your plan quicker? Because we're running out of air. Fire, we're gonna suffocate. No, we won't, mate. <laughs> Chances are better the 
the fish will eat us. You never should have teased them. Yeah, we're in trouble. Didn't I warn you, didn't I? And you wouldn't listen. You did everything just the opposite. Wait, it might work. Let's rewire the battery the opposite way. We should switch the plus and minus. How come? Because then the motor will start to turn the other way, forcing the algae to unwind. Yeesh! Hey, quit it! We won't bother you anymore, all right? Peace. Thank you so much, Tula. You really saved us. It's just because I was the one that was most frightened. No, it's because when things got really scary, you kept your cool about you. Wouldn't it be splendid if next time we built a helicopter? But if you need a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you need a fixie, please don't.